what you doing, girl, with all that? Hey y'all, welcome back. So I just wanted to do a quick video on how I prep my hair for knotless box sprays. So as y'all can see, I have a new um, hair rack that I found at Goodwill for $6. And I look forward to using this to do my knotless box sprays. And it was only $6. So that was really good. So I'm going to show you guys how I prep the hair for the knotless braids. And the hair that I like to use is Easy Braid Hair. Uh, I get a lot of questions on what type of hair that I use and make sure that it has innocence on, on the top of it because that's the real Easy Braid Hair. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take the hair and just section off pieces depending on the size and you just want to make sure each time you're pinching off the same amount of hair now when i'm doing knotless braids i only like to use the pre-stretched hair because it's already stretched at the ends and you won't have to, have to worry about it being so bulky at the ends as you're feeding the hair in so you just want to keep that in mind that when you're doing your knotless always use pre-stretched hair so what i'm going to do is just pinch off about four pieces this is just an example video i'm not really going to be braiding i'm just showing you guys like how i prep the hair so i'm just going to show y'all how i would do like four pieces i like to start off like sectioning the braids off already so yeah i'm just sectioning the pieces off for each braid so these would equal up to four braids Okay, so this would be considered my first braid. So what I'm gonna do is split this section into five pieces. And you wanna do that with each piece. I'm gonna split it into five pieces. My first two pieces, I want them to be kind of small, but not too small because you don't want your braid to start off really small. You want it to like, you still have the illusion that it's growing out of your client's scalp, but you don't want them to be too big because if you make the pieces too big, then you'll have knots on there and it won't be a knotless braid. So I make my third piece the same size as the first and the second piece. And then when it comes to my last two pieces, I like for these to be smaller because typically what I do is add in the first three pieces as I'm braiding. And I will put in the link to my, um, my small knotless box braid video. I will put the link in the description box if you wanna see exactly what I'm talking about. I like to make sure that the ends are not bulky. So the last two pieces are gonna be the smallest pieces because you don't want them to stick out or bulge out. You want it to still look accordingly to the rest of the braid, if you get what I'm saying. So basically you just continue these steps for each piece as you go if you have a braid rack or something you can do these ahead of time before your client gets there or whatever but basically this is my little um prepping process on how i get the hair prepared for the knotless box braid and like i said i will have the link to my box braid video in the description box thanks for watching